Hi there. So I have exciting news to share with you guys. I'm actually 18 weeks pregnant and I've spent um, probably until like week 16 just not feeling great at all. So getting on my mat was not happening and pretty much exercising in general besides just walking was not happening. There was a lot of naps and a lot of food aversions, but now I'm finally back at it and I wanted to create a video to help, um, you don't even have to be pregnant for this, to, for this video to be great for you, but a video directed at strengthening your outer hips and your glutes. Um, you want to keep those strong, especially when you're pregnant because the extra weight of your belly is going to put strain on your back. So keeping your hips and your glutes really strong is super important. So let's get started. Go ahead and come on to all fours. I'm going to face you just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. We're just going to start with um, some, some more bar-ish type movement if there was, and then we're going to move into like what would be more traditional yoga. So from here, just lift your right knee up and then continue to lift. So I'm exhaling as I lift up and inhaling down. So we're going to go for 10 more. So 10, 9, try to get your knee all the way up, 8 to um, hip height, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna take it back, extend your leg all the way back, come back to hip height, and take it down, so that's one. So back, down, that was two, three, four. And we're just working on the hips and the glutes, and you can really try to feel, you should feel them working right away right here. And as I kick my leg back, I'm pushing my heel out. And as I push my heel out, I can really engage my glute a little bit more. So 10 more from here. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. And you might be feeling this, and as you extend it back, just turn your toes so they're straight down, and you can point or flex your foot, but you're gonna pulse up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna switch sides from here. I'll just turn to the side so you have a different view. Just lifting that leg up. So, again, try to get your knee at hip height. I don't really mind whether you want to flex or point your foot at this point. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then from here, up, back, and down, that's one. So you might be feeling the burn, but I believe in you. And if you've been taking the time off, maybe you've been pregnant, or maybe you've been indulging, right? Or maybe you're just in a cycle where you're healing, so you're not doing as much. This is a great little sequence, low impact, obviously no weight. It's just relative strength here, using your own body weight. Okay, we've got seven more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And as you kick it back, just turn your toes straight down, and then you're pulsing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Woo! So you probably feel that already in both glutes. Go ahead and take it back, down and facing dog. Pedal your feet. And if you can believe it, we're going to go through similar sequence, but taking it from downward facing dog. So I'm coming off my mat, just so you see what's happening with my hips. I'm in the same downward facing dog space, so if I was to roll forward, my shoulders are stacked over my wrists, and I'm reaching from the crown of the head to my heels. Push it back without moving your hands or your feet. Lift your right leg up, or just bend your knee, so your knees are in line with one another, and I just have my heel, can you see, folded in, okay? And then I'm going to lift up. Here we go. Together for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, and one. And then from here, back down. So same thing. All right. So we've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. From here, switching sides. We're not going to do that same leg lift. So again, go ahead and just lift that knee off to the side. Lift your knee up. Tuck it in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then out and back. So that's 1, 2, we're going to 10, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come to downward facing dog. Pedal out, roll forward to a plank pose. Drop to your knees. Couple cat cows, so dropping your belly, taking the gaze up. Rounding chin in. Make it more about your shoulder blades and worrying about your belly being sucked in. Inhale, drop. For me, it can't happen. Exhale, round. And then come to neutral. Tuck your toes under. Downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up and back. Bring your right knee as close as you can to your right elbow. Obviously, if you're pregnant, hold it for three, two, one. Step forward. Come on up and hook your thumbs. So sink your right knee right over your ankle. Bend your elbows and really pull through with your chest and then re-extend your arms. Yeah. Turn your back heel down, open it up, warrior two, stretching from fingertip to fingertip. Inhale, reach up and back, reverse. Stay here with the torso, just straighten your right leg, and then reach forward, triangle pose. Let your right hand find your knee, your shin, a block, right, floor. Gaze up over your left fingertips. And then from here, bend your right knee over your ankle, Reach your left arm forward. If you want to go deeper, you can slide your right hand to the inside of your right shin. Use a block or put it to the floor right behind if it's calling to you. Fantastic. Release your arm back up to the ceiling if you wrapped. Take it down. Drop your knee, your left knee. Take your right hand. You're not pushing, right? You're just opening up here, right? Getting into your glutes. Don't sickle your ankle joints, so just a front view, right? I'm just opening up here. Nice open twist here. I'm not having any like contract or like confining my belly at all. I'm just pushing that side out. And I'm not really even pushing, I'm just sort of encouraging and opening. And then from here, step it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to a plank. Exhale, if you need to drop your knees down, drop your knees. Otherwise, chaturanga. Up dog doesn't feel good to me, so I'm pushing back to plank. And then downward facing dog. Step, reach your left leg up and back. Step it, or bring your left knee to your elbow. Hold it, three, two, and one. Step forward there. Reach your arms up, hook your opposite thumb in front. Bend your elbows, send your right through, and then re-extend your arms right here. And then from here, spin your back heel down. Warrior two, reaching from fingertip to fingertip. Inhale, reverse, reach up and back. Keep your left knee bent over your ankle. And then stay here with the torso, just straighten your left leg. And then reach it forward. Triangle pose, reach your right arm high. And then again from here, if you need that extra support, don't be afraid to use a block. Especially the further along we get, our balance gets more challenged. And then come into extended side angle. So forearm, floor block, wrap behind if you want. Okay, just opening through the chest here, the shoulders. You know, your belly gets this nice open space. And then take your right hand down as you drop your right knee. 
Left hand comes to your thigh. There's not pushing going on, like I said. And if you need more room, right? If you need more room, you can always move that foot out. Right? So just breathing. And this is a work in progress. Like as we, well for me, as I grow bigger, you know, I'll obviously have to have more space here for the belly. So you just want to accommodate that. All right. And then push it back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, plank. Again, feel free, drop to your knees, lower. If up dog still feels good, feel free. Push back, drop to your knees, take it nice and wide. Child's pose. All right, so that was a little hip strengtheners. Great for prenatal yoga. Again, if you are new to yoga, make sure you check in with your doctor before you do any sort of new activity and um, Again, I'm in my second trimester, so things change as you progress or earlier on. Maybe things feel exactly the same. So just know that your body is your body. Hope you enjoy. Bye.